What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and we recently reviewed the HTC 10. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. It'll either be linked in the description below or in a card in the upper right corner of this video. There's only so much that can be covered in a review. So today I wanted to take a closer look at the new HTC Sense interface for the HTC 10 and go over what's different about it from previous versions, what has been improved and sort of give you my thoughts on the latest version of Sense. So one of the biggest and longest running problems with most OEM skins is how bloated and heavy they feel. This year, major manufacturers like LG and Samsung have made pretty good strides at slimming down their interfaces, but here in 2016, I don't think anyone has done a better job with that than HTC. HTC Sense has always been one of the more attractive looking interfaces with a very mature look, but over the years it became a very heavy and intrusive skin. With the HTC 10, Sense still feels like Sense, but it also feels a lot like stock Android, and this is probably the closest you'll ever see HTC get to stock Android without actually being stock Android. It's a much cleaner and leaner version of the interface and areas that HTC used to tamper with, like the notification shade, settings menu, and recent apps, those have all been left alone and kept purely the way that Google designed them. HTC made a pretty big focus on reducing a lot of the unnecessary bloat. So one thing that you'll notice is that HTC doesn't bombard you with a bunch of widgets anymore. There's still a few, most of them are just clocks, including the old school iconic HTC clock, but otherwise that's really it as far as the widgets go. HTC also worked closely with Google to remove a lot of the duplicative apps. So instead of having two apps that do the same thing, you now just have Google's Photos, Google Play Music, and Google's Calendar without the HTC alternatives. Now, just in case you're wondering, even though the new HTC Sense feels a lot more like stock Android, there's still no Android Easter egg in the settings menu. Not a big deal, but I figured I'd throw that out there for those of you who were curious. One of the most iconic features of HTC Sense since the One M7 has been Blink Feed, and just like everything else in this new version of Sense, it's a lot cleaner and much more streamlined. It's got a darker gray color scheme over the blue from previous versions, and it's a lot nicer to look at with HTC's new font and wider separation between the blocks. HTC was one of the first companies to start the whole left home screen trend, and out of all the companies out there that have done something similar, Blinkfeed is still one of the better implementations out there. It's fast, fluid, and will only show you things that you want to see like your calendar, Twitter, mealtime recommendations, and tons of other content such as sports, tech news, politics, and entertainment from hundreds and hundreds of other publications. Now, if you don't like Blink Feed or it's not your cup of tea, you do still have the option to disable it if you want. One of my favorite things about HTC Sense is the built-in theme engine, which lets you easily customize the look and feel of the interface. There's tons and tons of themes to pick from in a variety of different categories, and the cool thing about themes on Sense is that you can mix and match the wallpapers, icons, sounds, and fonts from any of the available themes, or even create your own based on the wallpaper that you pick. New to the themes engine is what HTC likes to call the freestyle themes, and these themes basically ignore any sort of specific grid size, allowing you to have some very unique looking themes, like this Mario one for example, and you can freely move things around and place the apps and widgets anywhere you want. It sort of reminds me of what third party apps like Zooper and UCCW allow you to do, so I definitely like these freestyle themes a lot. They're pretty cool and a lot of fun to play with. Also new to this version of Sense is the themable keyboard, and that's because the new Sense keyboard is actually powered by TouchPal, a very popular third-party keyboard with hundreds and hundreds of themes, so you can make it look like it's glowing with these neon-colored themes, or more like stock Android, or however you really want to make it look. It is purely up to you, and despite how light this version of Sense is, I really like that HTC gives you a lot of flexibility with customization. HTC has also given users the ability to calibrate the display with the HTC 10. It's not the most robust thing in the world, but you do have the option to pick between a vivid mode, which is the default setting, and a standard RGB mode that gives off a much flatter color profile, and you can also adjust how cool or warm you want the display to appear based on your personal preference. Like everything else in this version of Sense, the camera software also got a pretty major facelift. It's a lot cleaner, more intuitive, and easy to use. All of your camera settings and modes are stored in a simple slide out panel on the left side of the screen, which makes everything very quick and easy to get to. 
There's also a new pro mode that gives you DSLR like manual controls and it's pretty easy to make adjustments to the camera settings, but the layout can clutter up the viewfinder when you're trying to adjust multiple things at once. That's really a pretty minor complaint, but aside from that, I really love the improvements they've made to the camera software. So what do you guys think about Sense on the HTC 10? Personally, I think it's very clean and intuitive. HTC has done a really nice job with reducing the amount of bloat while still giving you a lot of really nice and useful features on top of Android. But that really does it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And check us out on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Google+, all that good stuff will be linked down below. And feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. And check us out on AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.